So today I'm going to show you how to make dual tone multi-frequency signals. Um, this is like what you hear when you're going to make a phone call, um, or at least when you used to make phone calls as a kid. Cell so phones don't really have these. Um, they're called, I'm naming this uh, DTMF signals um, instead of dial tone signals just because that's the like official terminology for it. Um, so if you go on Wikipedia and type in dual tone multi-frequency signaling and then scroll down to... Um, to special tone frequencies, we see that it gives us uh, the sine wave values to make certain tones. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the um, the dial tones. This is when you initially pick up the phone. So basically, we just need to have something at 350 hertz and 440 hertz. I have whoops, I have um, an initialized preset. As soon as I get rid of this. Um, Right here, as you can see, I only have uh, saw waves um, uh, turned up in the mixer and uh, standard low pass filter. Um, so we'll start off with our first, actually, before we do that, um, there's one thing I want to show you. Um, uh, first, set your channels to uh, two, three, and four so you don't have anything on the global channels. So when you click the button on the front of the radius, it'll just play that timbre. Um, and then for the, uh, for the master effect, I want you to um, go up to the uh, templates, go to master effect, and look for uh, talk modulator, which is in the second page. And we have one called, um, it should be called telephone. It's over here. Uh, okay. So click on that. And just just drag it over here and then just drop it on and now we have that telephone talk mod preset um, enabled in our master effect so um, this is what it sounds like just off the bat Let's see. you can barely hear that as of right now um, I can let's see I can turn that up So hopefully you can kind of hear that. Um, if not, you'll be able to hear it as I continue on. Um, okay. So first thing we want to do is disable any kind of pitched element. And so the way we do that is we put key tracking on pitch, minus 48. Um, you can hear what that sounds like. It sounds like that. Um, and then we need to make oscillator 1 the same frequency as um, as uh, the higher one, so 440 hertz, that's like really standard. Unfortunately, since we disabled key tracking, transpose isn't gonna work. So what we'll, what I do is I just used envelope generator three, patch that into pitch, and then um, turned it up 36. Okay. And if you want to hear what that sounds like um, in comparison to a regular 440, um, what I can do is I can just play timbre 2 and play um, A4, which is that. Now let me switch back to timbre 1. They sound exactly the same. Okay. So let's switch these to sine waves. And um, let's patch, uh, actually, I don't think we need to do any more patching. Um, let's turn up oscillator two, and let's uh, turn down the semitone. Because we need to get this, here, let me just play oscillator two in isolation. We need to get this one down to 350 hertz. Um, and I have a spectrum analyzer. And let me, where's my tone for oscillator two? Here we are. Now if I turn oscillator one back up, you can hear that it sounds like, sounds like a dial tone. I do further things. I put um, drive on pre-filter. Uh, and then I also add a little bit of noise. 
um, like at 12, then I put drive up to 25. And that's just so you can barely hear that noise. It's like, you know, it's almost like a phantom noise. Um, and then that's, that's all I do. And I'll make another part on the, uh, the other two DTMF signals. <laughs> 